Hey, what's happening, guys? I've got a couple of reviews I gotta get out of the way, and then there's not gonna be any more reviews for a, a long time. So, we will be back on the synthesizer project tomorrow. But we gotta do this one today. This is the Janbotech Car Air Purifier Smart Car Charger. It's available on Amazon. There's a part number in case you're interested. So, what we've got here. is a cigarette lighter adapter type plug. Got a little voltage indicator here. We've got two 3.1 amp 5 volt outputs. And if we zoom in here, so we can read that. Anion 3 to the Tenth of the something I can't see, PCS divided by centimeter cube. It's an ozone generator, basically. Does it really work? Well, we'll find out. So if we put 12 volts on this, I don't know if you guys can even see that, it's pretty dark. Hold on, let's uh, let's try here. It says uh, twelve point one. I cannot detect any ozone smell coming from it, but that doesn't mean that it's not working. So we need to get this bad boy apart. And we'll figure out via the circuit if anything is working. Hmm. I gotta see if there's some little screws in there. Hold on one second. Yep, there appears to be a couple of tiny Phillips head screws. This screwdriver does not seem to be the correct one. This is the smallest Phillips I've got. If it doesn't do the trick, I don't know what will. But, uh, it does feel like it's coming out. Oh, mama. That's tight. Let me get something bigger in there, maybe just get it started. I really don't want to destroy this thing, but if we have to in the name of science, by God, we'll do it. think they're loose. Yeah, we are inside, sort of. Now we just got to figure out how to get the board out. Really shouldn't be all that difficult. If I could just find somewhere that I could grab it. Okay, I think we're moving now. Hmm. What do we have here? Capacitor, inductor, capacitor, five volt jacks, and this big thing. Hmm. I know I keep saying hmm, because I'm confused. And the reason I'm confused is I know how to make an ozone generator. 
To make an ozone generator, you need two points and you pass a very, ah, I just forgot this pen is crap. Okay, this pen it is, because I don't know where any other pens are at the moment. <laughs> so you pass a high voltage. Through the points. And, I mean, they're not going to be this far apart. They're probably going to be a millimeter or two. They'll, they'll arc. But that's really not going to generate much ozone. So what you need to do is you need to have some sort of an insulator in between them. And then what happens is you get a coronal discharge and that generates the ozone. And I don't see that here. My only question at the moment is what is the big black box? Wait a minute. What's this guy? Who are you? You have no part number. Let me look at this a little bit closer. All right, there do appear to be a couple of points in there. I know that's gonna be really hard for you to see. Destruction in the name of science, you say? I agree. This is not what to do with your side cutters, by the way. But I need to see what's in here. I think we all need to see what's in here. Nothing. There is nothing. Okay, there are two points spaced about three-eighths of an inch apart. So this is probably a capacitor. Hmm, let's see, it does have some markings on it. Of course, they are in Chinese. All right, give me a second to scrape some of this off. So this is some sort of anion generator circuit, I'm guessing. We can see five volt input, output uh, minus three volts to a half a kilovolt. That would be 500 volts. Okay, like I said, this is three-eighths inch apart. Now, I'm just going to say this. I don't really know the ins and outs of anion generators. And yeah, it's just not my thing. But I do know a bit about the sparks. And the distance that this thing would have to be, or the distance that it is, about three-eighths of an inch, is going to need more than 500 volts to arc. And especially considering the fact that they're down in holes like this, uh, it's not going to do crap. If I'm wrong and you're an ozone expert, please correct me. Otherwise, that's a car charger with a fake ozone generator on it. Hey, tell them the truth here. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all of my patrons. And a big thanks to Mike K. in Pennsylvania for buying me the uh, 1K resistors off my Amazon wish list. I go through 1K and 10K and 100K resistors quicker than you can count. So good on you, Mike K. Big thanks. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Thank you.